my bad, my bad. Whew. Yeah, he was outside being, he was just pissed. He was just like, let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> Alright, the best things about part ones is it's always when I'm trying to figure out the flow of how we're going to do things and what's going to happen. I keep getting this sharp pain going up my neck and then through the center of my face to my cheekbone. There's like a nerve getting affected. I don't know if it's linked to a tooth or just a little spaz. Um... All these roads, so Deep Shore Road, Maple Inn, Ellen, whatever Ellen stands for, Lane, is it Lane? Pearl Lane? I don't know. So this place is kind of a city surrounded by an ocean with the ocean going through it. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Let's see. Albert returned unstable. Thurmorton feud feud oh so I could say I could pick one of these options okay to kind of build my case these are the things I've gotten so far okay I don't really need to read anything in my case book yet main case is right here okay lore city skill points combat vigor and mind map Inventory, pistol, that, options, load, save, all of that. Okay. Boy, is that guy hideous, though. Absolutely hideous. What type of gun is that guy holding? Is that a, is that Olympia-looking gun? Oh, my goodness. I want one. I want one of that. It looks like the Olympia, but it kind of looks like a lever action, too. It is a lever action, isn't it? I was just standing there with the umbrella. Look how short his arms are. Does that guy with the umbrella have short arms for a reason? He really does got some short arms. I want to talk Don't to this do officer. Don't anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. I guess this game doesn't give you any hints to anything, so I have to go and explore myself by hand. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? Oh, here's some stuff. Okay. I hope someone finds this. Albert Thornton's will. My name is Albert Thornton. I'm just going to call him Thornton. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but I'm going to go with that. And this is my will. I want to warn you. Don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's un... Wait. Unreadable. Oh, there's... And then that part's unreadable. We should never have done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor blank. I fear what will become of me is singing in my brain, dancing in my eyelids. Every time I close my eyes... Blank, the cycle goes on. On and 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 blank. In the end, it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father, Blank. He's here. Weird. That was kind of that was kind of rough to read. I, I kind of did... I, I was a little bit sketchy, but there were some blanks in it that made it so it didn't make sense. Something with this helmet. Gives me chills. What's wrong with it? How are you guys like doing? You're a newcomer. Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Can't catch a mackerel since those Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. Can I just go into the water? You can swim. I probably don't want to do that. I'll probably die or something weird. Wait, why are the raindroppets only landing under the water instead of the surface of the water? That's kind of weird. I'll ignore it. I want to see what this guy's problem is. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. I was trying to investigate his tattoos, but kind of hard to see. Oh my goodness, there's a shark right here. What happened to that shark? Yo! Didn't even take the fins. Oops, I, I keep using the shovel. We're just learning the game. Alright, we're getting acclimated, alright? This is gonna... This is... I feel like this... Uh, there's a lot to learn. <laughs> okay, I just can't talk today. I just can't talk today. I took five days off and now all I can do is stutter. What even is this thing right here? This looks like an old fire 
engine, right? Is it? Is this old fire engine? Hey, we talk. Knock it off. Yeah, what are we gonna do about it? What happens if I try to shovel you? Don't do that again. I don't drop. Oh, I did shovel him. I don't know if anything bad happens because I did that. Welcome to Oakmont, a town on the rise. Bigfoot. Bigfoot's like, hey, look at it. Look how big it is. <laughs> okay. Some things will change. Oh, there's a door right here. I'll put my flashlight. Alright, this is the house we were supposed to see. I just investigated that whole area for really nothing, but we did get his will. I didn't really say his will was going to give up anything. Oh, here's my will. Let me just tell you a little story and then not actually get to the will part. For them being somewhat of rich people, I don't see them coming around a building like this, but that guy is pretty ugly. Maybe this is how he likes it. Whoops, that's not, I keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, this dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Is there anything else about the book? The book is damp okay. and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Now we can go upstairs, but I really just want to investigate bottom floor first to make sure we don't loop. Another squid. There's something wrong about that squid, though. It's like an octopus. You can see its little eye and its head and everything, but it's just an interesting size, I guess. Oh, hey. Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Is that some kind of joke? It would take There's blood right there. I found it. This thing. What do you think of my skills? Tossing it over like this. Wait, what do you say? It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. And there's a big hole right here through the building. It's almost like a giant squid tentacle bashed through the door right here, ripping to shreds everything in this area or spot. Is that pretty good? Whoops! Imagine if there's I slapped the cop on accident. Here, but someone tried to flee. What do you have to say to me, crazy? No! No! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I didn't. I didn't hit him. Hey, I gotta change that button. Hear me? Ah. Oh my head! What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. <laughs> it's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh. Okay. What do you want? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. We moved here after the flood. I, like the button. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starf. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing. Just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me... Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Do you know how Paul died? I... don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already... 
God. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our Lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or Kay? Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Okay, okay. I'm just trying- I'm trying super hard to listen to every detail just to see if anything comes up. Choo-choo. Ahem. <clears throat> A train? What is that supposed to help me with? Whoops. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Oh? Maxis? What's going on? Did that thing hurt me? I think my character's having a fit. He's having a fit. I don't know how to stop it. Other than just get get out of the scenario. I know what it is! Okay, so this guy's a vet, right? He was in the war, so he has PTSD, right? Maybe a little schizophrenia. He saw the face that was all gored up, and it started making him have a fit, so now he has to step outside, take a breather, recoup his sanity, and then go back in. I think that's what just happened. Don't worry, I'll take good care of you. I'll take some good care of you. Let's not go back to that body. Oh my goodness, I press E so much! How is that supposed to help me with anything? Oh, why does that guy look so weird? So, that's what an in's mouther looks like. Oh, I heard my neck start to snap when I turned it sideways. That Sounds was good. like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Ooh, that's a cool knife. Oh, oh, I get it. I find the thing. Okay, we're learning. We're learning. Master for work. Okay, let's investigate this weird black hole right here. Did I just go through a portal? I did. Yeah, run! Wait a minute, okay. Let's let's go back real quick. <gasps> Floating, What's running. Happening. Okay. Let's see what we have here. He's running. Okay, wait, 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 let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, okay, it's gonna we're figuring it out. <gasps> What's happening? He takes a run off over to here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> Take this, ape face. He goes out with the revolver, shoots him. That guy's holding up something. I don't know which two these guys are. Oh! So you're shooting him while he's right here. He runs. Someone else gets hit and killed right here. I don't know who gets hit. I think there's four people here at once, but he still tries to run. 
I don't I don't understand it fully, but maybe something like that. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Whoops. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Wait. Wasn't this the room I was just in? It, it's it's so much more trashed. Wait. You know, no, I don't need to see that again. But this room wasn't trashed like this a second ago, was it? Oh, I can connect these however I want, I think. He behaved strangely after... Okay. Albert Thorman behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. There's three. I only found one. Okay, gibberish. Albert Thorman fled from the fisherman's house after he was wounded. Albert Thorman was attacked at the fisherman house as soon as he regained consciousness. That's what it looked like to me. But Albert behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He spoke... Wait. After returning from the sea, he was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. The fisherman suffered a sudden psychotic outbreak after Albert Thorman regained consciousness. Albert the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the flight of the house. I can track them down using my supernatural sense. No, no. Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Okay. So right now we're tracking him down. So he ran this way. Shotgun shells, were they trying to shoot him? So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. I mean, this looks pretty straightforward. It probably is straightforward as it seems, because it's a, the first thing to teach you how to play the game. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. What's up with the doctor guy showing up? I don't like the handprints everywhere. I'm trying to... there we go. Okay, bloodstain note. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater. Like everyone else right now, I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly without Fuzz snooping about the port. But we, but don't worry, I've stuck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest, Peter. I don't want to investigate the rest of this building before I, before I go all the way down there. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. <gasps> so he's probably down here. I hope the son isn't dead. That'd be kind of sad. There's a little monkey child. I wonder if I'm able to build anything. I'm getting a lot of parts. The door won't budge. Oh wait, what if I just do that? The door won't budge. That were Oh don't tell me that's him. Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. What is it? What is that thing? There's stop. It's not letting me aim my gun. What is it? Use your supernatural. That's it. 
What is that? I don't know. Uh. I don't like how it has human hands. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? Why is he kissing the fish? <laughs> Alright. One fatal round through the forehead. Oh, it that's is. No accident. This was deliberate. I guess let's open up my mind case. Albert was murdered. Lewis pursued Albert. Okay. Albert Thorpman was shot in the head and impelled into the hooks. Lewis pursued Albert after he fled and continued to shoot at him. Albert Thorpman fled from the fisherman house after he was wounded. Lewis, the fisherman who probably killed Albert, left the site of the murder. Bar owner, okay. The owner of the local bar bar owes Lewis Finnish money. Okay, Albert Thornton was shot in the head. Well, yeah, he was shot in the head. I'll take that one. He owes him money, but, um... Okay, so we're gonna go with he was murdered. Then, Lewis left the crime scene. Lewis, another fisherman who probably killed Albert, left the side of the murder. Albert fled from the fisherman house after he was wounded. Something's not adding up. We should probably go tell him what ha what we witnessed. Well, that sucks. He got hooked up and shot right in the head. They, whoever it was was chasing him down trying to kill him. Maybe it makes sense that he was strong, though, because... They kind of got that horrifying face. Oh, I keep almost punching people! Okay. We gotta tell him. We have to. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. Sorry for your loss, at least. My condolences, Mr. Thorkmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I can't be sure yet. I'll say that. Although, it, at the beginning it was saying Lewis was shooting him. I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag and I'll help you with anything you need. Okay, I don't want to just point the finger yet. Okay, here's how we get the gun and other stuff. I just clicked this on accident. I got a brick. I got what, a med kit. A camera. And my gun. Okay. Is there anything I should have taken a picture with my gun yet with? Let's check the map. So this is the port. Three, two, and one. Okay. Let's take a little investigation round, because I don't want to just point the finger at anybody yet. I know it's one of those fishermen, though. Oh, the cops are blocking this side. Let's see what they're saying. The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Wow, okay, he does have some power, then, if he could just be like, Yep, no one's allowed to leave this area, because I'm rich. Okay, wow. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Oh, yeah. Hey, just laying in the mud got in the a rain. Spare bullet, fella. I ain't eaten in days. Whoops. Stay alert. 
monsters the lurk hell, underground. Mr. Carpenter's They're food giveaway everywhere. with his port closure. Mm, I th we have to be able to find him somewhere in the port. What are you, what's her problem? Come, come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you. <gasps> Your money has no value here, newcomer. This looks like After Mama Murphy. The flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. One bullet? Uh, how rare are bullets in this game? Let's hear what my future holds. Good. One bullet should be Let fine. Focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race. That made sense Thank to me. Keep that actually mind. made sense to you me. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you... Basically what she was saying was, I can't see anything unless I get a metal suit on, which is a, like a underwater suit, and I have to go underwater to like some place with pillars to see stuff. You know, she just basically said I need to go scuba diving to see more of what I need. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Seen some unsettling creatures around. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others say are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to know a fella called Lewis, would you? Do you expect me to know every darn man in this Borg? Stop bothering me. I got paying customers here. Fine, let me be blunt. Is this your note? I don't see any other bars around. Look, outsider. I don't know who you are and what you want, but I do know one thing. Stop bothering me, or you'll be in a world of trouble. Capiche? <laughs> Bye. Capiche, bro. Did he really say capiche after, at the end of that? Lewis pursued Albert after he fled and continued to shoot at him. Abba Thornton fled from the fisherman's house after he was wounded. Lewis pursued Albert after he f Okay, the owner of the local bar in the port owes Lewis money. I don't think the owner of the bar would do that. I feel like it- I don't know. I'm feeling Lewis. I just feel Lewis from the- from as soon as it popped up. Because it could be the bar, it could be one other person. Lewis the okay Innsmouther fisherman who probably killed Albert left the site of the murder. I can't oh I can't put those two. Okay, I remember everything over here is a dead end, so we have to go to the bar. I feel like it's only those set pieces of places to go. So far I think the investigation's going well. Although I will say some of the things they have written on here are a little bit hard to read because it's the way the words are, it's just making me 
fumble a little bit. Punctuation. Punctuation. I've got more questions. Didn't I tell you to stop snooping around? Buy a drink or get out. You did. But I found out more about Lewis Flynn. Are they making him thicker out of town these days? I told you. I ain't saying squat. Go away. You want him gone, I can help. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise. Let's go. Once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Bye. Okay, so all I had to do was connect some of those notes together. Once I did that, I was able to proceed. Okay, so... Because this game doesn't tell you if you have all the evidence or not. It just leaves you wondering if you made the right decision or not. And that's actually, like... That's really, really cool. So, I, I could have had everything, or there could have been some secret things I missed. Which, potentially, is the answer. But, since it's the first one, I'm willing to go with this answer. Hey, who are you? Oh boy, I'm Charles Reed. If we're killing him, I'm I'm good with that. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. Poetic justice. No. <laughs> uh, okay. First of all, why do you look like that? I have to ask. I, I don't I can't even I can't even continue the investigation unless I know. What kind of uh, why do you, you your face it's uh Oh, so you're here to attack me just cuz I look different to you. <laughs> Want to spit on me, whisper to your friend? Oh, he has scales on his arms. No, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Next, you killed Albert. Why? Okay, how did it all Start happen? At the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Your actions look deliberate. Let's say, why do you hate the Throgmonters? I hear there's a bit whatever of the heck their last name is. Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Throgmortons, okay. Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived at Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. 
I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. What's a grand family? You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The headhunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head? A hidden body? One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. Well, if he did it, he did it. And if he woke up at the warehouse, he did it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Yeah, I'm not gonna be bribed. Thank you very much. You're the one hiding from the crime scene on top of it. Alright, and you're eating whatever that is. That looks like some horrifying mushrooms. Mind place. Albert was murdered. Lewis claims he wasn't himself and was affected by the same mental illness. <laughs> Look at that picture! Wait, psychic influenced or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Thor Thorg Morton. He had a motive too. The mutual hated between mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers and the Thogmortons. I must tell Robert Thogmorton the truth and bring justice. Mm, but there's something else I'm missing. There's something else I'm missing. So far, I have this case set up. Look at him, bro. Like, that is just horrifying. No. That's kind of what I want to go with, though. Influenced or not, he still did it and went through it, right? Unless there's something I'm missing, which I could very easily... <gasps> I'm almost killed him. Drink? I know he's lying to me. He's a liar. He's a fish face liar. <laughs> Mr. Monkey Man, I think, has the credibility... The murderer is at the bar. Case closed. Suspected. The Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Plus he's hiding. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throg Morton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kate, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm trying to find the source of my visions. I'm investigating cases of insanity. I'll say that. I don't want to give him too much. I feel like that would be a good one. I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This 
Inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why a geological expedition? Any link between the visions and the hysteria? I'll do the first one. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words, exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news. Did you see his hands? Or is he not wearing gloves? The only one I could trust comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Revolver? That's a whole bunch of stuff he gave me, so that's our first investigation of the game. Now, that was quite a bit. I was kind of trying to get into the flow of it, figure out how this game works, get comfortable with moving and stuff and have my setup, and not clicking my mouse on accident, skip past certain things I was saying. But I think this game is going to end up being absolutely insane. I am very excited to continue playing this game. It feels like this game's going to be really in-depth with the things that are going on. There is some really ugly, like, looking people. And are those his hands? Like, what does his hands look like that for? Oh, I thought he had, like, claw hands. He just has white gloves on. Okay. But anyways, that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one when we investigate further into the city.